Jose, there is a LinkedIn ad of a LinkedIn ad of a position you are interested in, but you don't know anyone inside the company. What's the best way to address the HR in charge of this search? Fantastic question. So, one of the things that I would tell everybody to do. So let's let's move it back just a a, a hair here. Um, if you are finding a position that you like at a company that you like, the first thing that I do is if I don't know anybody at that company, I start to do two things simultaneously. I start looking at the people in the organization that are in the unit that I want to go to, and I start connecting with them in LinkedIn. Hey, I noticed you are working at this company. I enjoyed looking at your, following your background. Uh, I'd love, I'm, I'm interested in connecting with people in my space and I would love to you know, connect with you if you'd be open to it, send them a message. Start getting connections to people inside the company and then try to build in a very quick manner uh, a little online relationship with them. You go kind of go back and forth. And if you can do that, first off, it'll put you at greater uh, likelihood that the recruiter or HR person is connected to that person if they're at the same company. And then if you uh, target the person in charge of the search, then the next thing that I would do is I would look to see if I knew anybody else in my network that could get me to that company. So I would kind of map the network. And then I would also call the person or call the company and ask who the HR person is in charge of this area. And I would go at it in all of those, in, in, all, in all of those. So I'm, I'm a fan of the applicant tracking system is the last possible resort. So don't, don't go right to the applicant tray. You should try seven or eight different tactics before you ever submit your resume into an applicant tracking system. You only have a two to four percent chance of the hum, of any human actually seeing your resume if you if you go that route. So, so that's what I would do.